All right, what is up, YouTube? We're back on the Skybound. I haven't properly sessioned on this thing, so that's what we're about to do now. The ankle is feeling a little bit better. I got some physio work on it earlier today, so let's see how this goes. And then later today, we have my first gym session on the old ankle. Let's see if she holds up. This the trampoline is amazing! It's recorded on two separate tracks, each one giving special emphasis to certain sections of the orchestra, as heard from those positions. Now, when played back simultaneously on two separate yeah. tracks... Yeah! Yeah! Alright, so here I'm gonna go for a world's first. I've definitely never seen it before, it's not that hard, I'm sure it's been done. So imagine a double front half, but instead of the half, you do like A-twist snapping, so... I'm gonna do double fr like front flip to like a front half with a swipe, twist the swipe it's kind of like a rudy out with a kick really hard really scary i'm not even that good at rudy out and never do it on trampoline only in foam pits but better do the skype on some justice okay, i just need to flip it a little bit more and then i've got this That last one was actually kind of it, but I need to try once more because I think I can do it clean. I think I can do it a little bit better than that. You know what guys, I'm just gonna have to take that first one. It really wasn't that good, the kick was pretty small. But if you slow it down by a thousand frames, you can see there's a slight kick in there. Double front, a snapping. Although I bet it's not the world's first at all. I bet loads of people have done it. First for me though. So hit the like button anyways, please. Come on Maggie. I got a new world's first for you right here. Let's just maybe move this a little bit. Oh god! Ah! Oh god! That is sketchy as all hell. The garrison is a weird place. What do you guys think if I sell this on the Plan Zero store? The new art installation. I call it the Maggie Maggie Bot 3000. So I just got to the gym UTX. I haven't been to this place in months. I feel like, and I hear that the floor is white now. A white gym floor. Have you guys ever seen a white gym floor? Well, apparently this is. But I need to see it with my own eyes. Let's go. What the hell? What the hell? The white floor? Why? Because life sucks. That's why. So this is the first training on my sprained ankle. It's actually feeling a lot better, like I said earlier, but it's definitely not there yet. Like when I put pressure on it and crunch it down, that's when I feel it the most. So I'm kind of scared to do any big tricks. It'd be stupid to try anything big. So today's session's mainly going to be basic, but this new floor, what the hell? That looks crazy. Deep heat is the savior. The white spring floor really changes the look of this whole gym. actually feels so much better. I did not expect to be able to do double court on it so soon. I'm definitely not able to do multiple swings in a row, but what this does mean, I can pretty much trick as normal and just not do swings. Feels good. You 
know the weird thing that hurts, if any, is when I do kicks right now. And that's probably because my kicks aren't as good as my twists and stuff and I, I don't do them correctly. But it's weird that a cheat nine is more pressure on my ankle than full snap. Probably just means I really gotta work on my kicks. dive roll is actually really hard for me I've never properly done it but that thing I'm doing there is like a touchdown raise 360 dive roll thing so pretty much you step into it like a cheat setup you turn most of the way and then you just forward roll out of it not nearly as cool but it's still quite fun Ahmed with a new trick <laughs> yeah that's it I'm scared pelican dive So I think I'm done with tricking for now. My ankle's getting continuously more and more sore. So I'm gonna move on to doing some stupid stuff. I might try test back off this wall. Maybe. You just going for it? Ahmed's yeah. also gonna try this. I guess it's a race that who's gonna do it first and who's gonna do it at all. I'm genuinely quite scared to do it. The only time I've ever done this onto a mat and not onto a foam pit was this time. That was like two weeks ago. So. It's really scary. Ah, no! That was scary, but it's it. I did it! Yo! Yeah. First one out of the way. Almond with a second attempt. Yo, that was way better! That one was actually kind of sore on my ankles, so I'm probably gonna stop doing them. Yo! That wasn't scary, that was good. It felt so sick. It felt like I was dropping my shoulder. Let's move on. That's enough free running for today. Let me know if this is boring for you guys to constantly be talking about my injury. But maybe it might be cool for like some of you guys that are going through the same sort of ankle injury. And it's cool to see someone else go through it and talk about how it's getting better and the progressions and how I go about getting back to tricks. I don't know, maybe that's boring for a lot of you guys, maybe it's interesting. Let me know and I'll stop talking about it if it is, but the ankle is definitely getting better. It's just, for those out there that have had an injury before, you guys don't know like how frustrating it is coming back to tricks, but also how fun it is to be able to do tricks again. But it sucks when you have to be really careful about landing everything perfect, which might sound silly because obviously you obviously want to do everything perfect all the time, but that's not always the case when you're trying new combos and new concepts and stuff so right now I can really just train the stuff that I'm good at. Either way though, I'm gonna leave the gym right now. I'm surprised the ankle held up like it did and I'll be training again probably pretty soon. Okay, last thing to mention before I end the video, today's video is a little bit boring, there's a lot of talking and I'm injured so the tricks aren't that good. The Plan Zero clothing, the Autumn Winter collection, there's going to be a very small restock in about a week's time and then that's going to be the last stuff I make for probably like a couple of months. If you guys ordered anything in the pre-orders or when we first released the collection, literally we have everything now and that'll all be going out to you guys. So expect everything arriving hopefully this month. And I'm very sorry about the delay with some of it. We just got way more orders than we thought we would. And you gotta understand it's just me and my little brother who's running all of this. Anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. We've actually just filmed it now. It's, it's kind of an interesting one. So I'll see you guys then. Subscribe if you're new.